Hey guys, what's up? It's Dennis here again. Now, you guys have been asking for episode 9 for quite a while, and I have been teasing you and not putting it up. Not on purpose, unfortunately, because I actually was an idiot and I lost the file. But that's okay, because I have followed my tutorials, and I have rebuilt what is close to... Yeah, <laughs> I followed my own tutorials. But I have... Oh, why does it always do this? I have rebuilt what is close to episode 9 so we can do episode 9 now and get it over with so you guys can carry on to 10, 11, 12 and however far you want to go I guess. Um, <clears throat> so yeah this is practically it, ignore everything else, just focus on what I click and do. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay so it's been a while since I've done this so I might be a little bit sketchy and a bit rusty around the sides. That, that was a huge delay, that was like oh. Did not mean to click that. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open the gun script, which we started typing up, and now hopefully this should be exactly like it was when we left episode eight. Fuck, that's not it. This is it. <laughs> okay, let's close that. Okay, this is exactly what it should look like. If it doesn't look like that, then please pause the video and take two minutes just to type it up. And oh, I'm going like all that professional now. Okay, so. <laughs> So we, we got all this figured out, we got everything here, everything's good, everything's fine. So next, oh wait, okay so first of all for those people that did struggle, I am sorry. And this is probably why you struggled. Okay so if we go to um, a first person controller, we open it up, and we go to the main camera and now we open up the mouse look script, right there, just double click on it. And that'll give you full of numbers and green colors and load of random things. Oh, let me open all this up. What is this? Yeah, let me close all that up. No, I don't like it. It's all blue. I like blue. Don't get me wrong. Don't be judging me. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to copy this. Paste that there. Oh, no, okay. Didn't align itself. That's what I wanted it to be like this. Change that R to a capital R. Change the Y to an X. So we just made our own variable in C sharp. Makes me feel special because I'm not that good at C sharp. And <sighs> okay, so <laughs> okay, now we're gonna create another. Um, well, how should I say this? Okay, I'm gonna. S it's it's p practically gonna be a function, <laughs> except it's called a void in C sharp, because you know they don't know what to call things. Hello, JK. Uh, okay, so <laughs> what we're gonna be doing is 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 wait. It'll come to me in a second. It'll come to me in a second. Um, okay, no, 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 get rid of that void, I don't want it anymore. In here, we're going to put rotation x equals, and then we're going to have the mouse x times sensitivity x, and close that off, and put a space there, so it's all nice and neat, and bam, we have it right there. And right there, ladies and gentlemen, there is your answer. Okay, now that should... Uh, we're, we're going to be using that. So let's go back to our gun script. And now in the update function, um, is it the update function? Yeah, it is the update function. Oh, thank you. Okay, so copy these because we want to practically create new ones of these, duplicate even. That's what I meant to say. Man, I'm struggling to breathe in this house. Uh, okay, we'll just put V V at the end of them. There we go, that, that'll, that'll do. Will that do? Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so we have V at the end of those. And now we got to type the bit of code of us using those Vs. <laughs> ah. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go transform dot, that's not a dot, dot position. And then this is practically changing the position. And we want it to. Um, what did we call it? We did call it. Yeah, we called it player camera. It's all good. It's all good. Player camera dot transform. Oh, no, wrong transform. Wrong transform. I don't know. I'm actually going to pause this here and um, go get a cup of water because my throat's dry. Okay, I'm back. And sorry for that little break. It's just I had some uh, jalapeno or jalapeno, whatever you want to call it, Doritos crisps. And I'm not that good with spicy things and it makes me breathe really hard and also makes my mouth water and 
me cry and my nose go all saggy. Just, just for those of you who wanted to know. Okay, that's not a freaking dart. What's with me? I'm putting those instead of darts. Okay. <laughs> dart transform. Right there. And then uh, we want its position. And then we also want to... Um, wait, we want to add something onto that. Don't we? Yeah. Okay, now we have that funny messed up... Wait, do we? Wait, wait, wait. Let me first work out. Two... None. Ah, oh, crap. It was right there. Okay, stupid Skype distracting me. Okay, uh, and then we want the. I can't even say the word. I know how to spell it, but I can't say it. Okay, so let's uh, carry on, shall we? Uh, we want our target rotation, target Y rotation, without the V, without the V. We don't want the V anymore. Oh, we do, but we're not using it in this. Zero. And um, practically right now we're making our own like uh, transform translation type thing. If that makes any sense. <sighs> okay, and then we want to times that. And I'm just, I'm just gonna copy this. Paste that in there. We want to times that by. Um, what would that be? I'm slipping up here. It's been a while. It's been a while. Wait, what would we? Yeah, we want our target X rotation in there, right? No, we want it in there. Uh, yeah, we would. Would we? Damn it! Yeah, we're gonna put it in there. If it doesn't work, then we'll just come back to it. Simple. And then <coughs> we want to times that by a vector three. Now we're gonna come back and use this later, so we'll just zero all these out and close that off. Now you might be thinking, "What the fuck? That's a huge bit of code." But it's alright. The rest are small-ish, kind of. Okay, and no, they're, they're not this one, are they? Because we have to do the actual target X and Y rotation. Okay, so <laughs> let's do that now. Okay, now this is obviously going to be a math F so that we can actually do something. And then we want a smooth damp so that it looks nice and smooth when you're rotating your gun and not rotating your gun and just chilling with your gun and cigarette. I don't know. And then we want a comma and we want to and get the rotation Y from our mouse look script. Um, so this is obviously a C sharp script and we're trying to call it in the JavaScript so what you have to do for it to work is um, you have to actually subscribe to my channel and <laughs> again I'm sorry I've, I've had so much sweets okay so player wait did I call the player yeah the player transform no I don't want the transform on the actual game object I don't know Okay, we're going to go ahead and create a new variable, and let's call this player game obj. That way, it's going to be a game object. Fuck. There. <laughs> okay, all good. Uh, okay, now we want player game object. Wait, player game object. Wait, no, 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 no. The x rotation. Which way is x? Let me quickly go to Unity and. Go to our cube. We'll go to that cube. Okay, now I want to find out wh which rotation is the X. Okay, so X is up and down. What's what, that's controlled by the camera. Okay, so most of this is guesswork. So we obviously want our player camera. The get com it. get component. We'll go to the top. The component is obviously mouse look. Basically that's the name of the script you wanted to get. And then we want dot and then whatever variable we want. So we actually want the rotation y. No, we want rotation x. I feel like such an idiot, just ignore me. Now we're gonna say rotation y, rotation y. But it's target f fuck's sake. We'll just have to we'll just mess around and play around and we'll have to see what happens and actually I'm gonna put target x in there. Yeah. Just because you know it makes sense. Rotation that X. Um, and then we want our V's that we made. Where's our V's? Where's our V's? There we go, there's the V. And our rotation speed. Right there. 
Okay, so now we can close that off. Let's quickly check for errors because you know it's always good to check for errors. If, if it even bothers checking for errors, is it even going to do anything? Is it no? Wait, that means there's no errors. Ah, damn it, just because I didn't say it. Let's go back to here. Okay, no errors, well, I guess we typed out fine. Okay, so I can actually copy that, right? Yeah. Nobody stopping me. Okay, so we'll copy that out. We'll change this to target Y. Target Y. Uh, we want that rotation Y with a little R. And is that a capital Y? It probably is. Let's do it anyway. Well, not there. Here. Okay, that looks fine. No, there needs to be a Y. Okay. Okay, okay. Go ahead and save that. And now we want our uh, our uh, trans transform. I don't know why I couldn't spell it earlier, but it's okay. So rotation uh, equals, and then we practically kind of want this again. Yeah, we want that word. <laughs> I can't be able to type it out again, so we're just taking it. Oh, I should have got the earlier as well. Or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's completely empty. And then we practically just want our uh, these target X and target Y. And then a zero, because we don't care about the other rotation, because it's not needed. Okay, so, so far so good. What this line will do is it'll change the game object's position to the camera's position. Now you might be wondering why we need to do that, considering that, <laughs> I forgot to do this, that your gun is a child of the main camera, so it's with it anyway. So what I want you to do is just click and drag it right out. Just just take it out there. It has to be a separate like object on its own. Yeah. Um, insert semicolon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I totally knew that. And then this would do the uh, rotation, but this is changing the rotation to smooth rotation. Okay, now <coughs> I'm pretty sure if we play it now, it still won't work. Well, let's check. Let's check. Okay, play a game object. I didn't even use that, so. That's fine. Except when I. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, so. Right and left is up and down, and. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't like it when this happens. I'll do a reference not set to an instant other than one. Oh, just, just signal left, just signal left. <laughs> it's from something else I was trying. Okay, okay, stop, close, stop. Okay, like I said, now we have to play around with this. Um, so, our, we'll switch these around. Copy that, paste it there, change this to a little r. Change this to a y, capital Y. Okay, save that, let's go ahead and try it now. Okay, so clearly our up and down isn't working, right? Okay, stop that. Okay, up and down isn't working properly because we look up, it goes down. So we look for our rotation Y, or was it X? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Y. We just pop a minus in front of there. Okay. There we go, up and down works perfectly. Left and right doesn't work. Why do Wait, does it? I don't know, I don't know. It, lo it looks like it's doing something, but I don't know what it's doing. Okay, but it's not, it's not doing what we want it to do, so clearly it can't be right. Hmm. Now we have to think, why ain't it working? Our uh, rotation X is fine. Um. Why do we need this? Let's 
try it. So, open this up, hit that play button. That's it, left and right. No, left and right don't work. Okay, that's that's broken. It's broken. Um, also, make sure that your rotation Y is public rotation Y. I think I forgot to mention that, but it's mentioned now, so we're all good. <laughs> okay. Let me. Something is losing it, right? I guess to the main camera. There's rotation X, that's rotation X. If I hit play. Why does it keep getting set back to zero? There's our problem, it keeps getting set back to zero. Who's setting our stuff to zero? Alright, it might be that. Okay, just <laughs> get rid of that zero F. Well, that's probably not that. No, it can't be that, can it? No. No, 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 no. Hmm. It is something. I really want to know why it keeps getting set back to zero. Um, I, I take it it's just uh technical difficulty. It's probably just me, I bet your gu yours guys is fine, that makes no sense, that sounded completely weird. Um <laughs> how long are we at? Sixteen minutes. Okay, well I got I gotta do this episode, so I may as well just carry on. Uh let's find this. That was only used twice. And what about in our gun script? Only used once, then why the hell does it keep getting set back to zero? Oh, right, okay, yep. <laughs> Realize the problem. That's meant to be a plus. Now let's try it. We want to set it relative, not exactly. Okay. Ah, it works now. Okay, left and right, up and down. It's all good. Now, if it's all jittery and jaggery and crap, then make sure that the gun that you made, <laughs> if you made inside of Unity, make sure that the box colliders is unticked once again. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. The next episode, link to it will be in the description. And um, I'd just like to thank you guys for watching. And you now have smooth, realistic movement around your guns. So, once again, I've said it like 20 times, so I'm not going to say it again, but thanks for watching. Damn it, I just said it again.